What is up everybody? How's it going and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing on this item that I picked up from Amazon. It came all the way from Germany. Uh, went through a bunch of different countries before it got to the US. I got it in like three or four days when it was supposed to be like 16, 13 to 16 days to get it. It is a USAG mini ratchet socket set so please stick around check out the video and i'll see you guys there thank you for watching what is up everybody how's it going and welcome back to the channel before we get started please like comment subscribe and smush the bell notification icon for future updates all right So let's get this open. The box is already pretty much ripped open. There it is. Box is empty other than a little slip. Throw that on the floor for now. This is a USAG U061000001-61 quarter inch EFK assortment with short hexagonal sockets and a reversible ratchet and bimaterial box. 11 piece. So the code right here is the part number. Um, ultimate 0610001 610 quarter EFK is the kit comes in a nice little package um, it's 11 piece 5.5 millimeter 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 4 14 millimeter comes with a nice little case um, a flex head, locking flex head ratchet Let's cut this guy open. It is related to this guy, Autobahn Dan. I'll post his um, channel up here. He did a Facebook post um, showing both of these off. I went immediately picked one of these up from my local Harbor Freight, and then I went and ordered this online. Um, I love using these mini ratchet kits. Um, I use them quite a bit. Here, I'll show you guys. I have, I actually have like three of these guys right here. I use these all the time. These are the little power torque ones you get from um, uh, O'Reilly's. Those two. And then I have this Titan kit that I got from O'Reilly's also. Um, I love that. Works pretty well. Um, and I think I put the other ones in... Um, in the truck. Let's pop this one open real quick. This is pretty thick plastic and it cuts through it pretty easy. I've been using this for over a year now on the videos. It works pretty well. I've actually have not changed out the blade yet. Um, it does a good job sharpening the blade. Move the box to the side. So there is a little case. So they fell out. They are hexagonal. So you can also put a wrench on them. These little steps also say 13, 14, 12, 8, 7. That one, the 7 is actually stamps upside down. It's kind of funny. This one's an 11. 
This 12 is stamped upside down. Ten is stamped upside down. Thirteen is stamped upside down. Maybe they're stamped upside down on purpose, who knows. Oh, they're all stamped that way. 5.5. So that's what it looks like. Looks like the, ex is there an extension? I don't think there's an extension in this one. It does look similar to the Harbor Freight kit. Except the Harbor Freight one is just bits. So here's the Harbor Freight Icon one. It's almost identical. This one does not have a end where you can put a bit, or this one does. This one's got an end where you can stick a bit in. This one is just a ratchet. The push buttons look almost identical, to be honest. Let's see if there's enough light left in this light right here. It says push release. This one says push release. So to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if the Harbor Freight Icon is actually made by USAG. This one has stamping of USAG. The ratchet for the Icon kit doesn't even, the ratchet doesn't even have stamping on it saying Icon. Which I find funny. This one has an extension. So this one is basically for sockets. It is, this one's for bits. You can see this is a pass-through style socket set. But that, that profile is just super low. Get something like this 5.5 here. It is small. Click it in. It's just super tiny those hard to reach spots and if you really needed to you could probably put you know as an example here is a quarter inch hex slide it into this guy and if you need you can get more leverage see you can do that um, you can also just use these sockets on a quarter inch if you needed to. So pop that socket in there and then if I want to I could use it on the icon. So now now the socket is on this icon. So if I get the 14 millimeter, here's the 14. The, ch the chamfering on the inside of the sockets is nice and clean. Pretty, a pretty nice depth as well. The rounded corners right here is similar to flank drive. Um, these are pretty nice as well. There you go. The rounded corners. Nice and clean rounded corners. There's one right there. So far, this is a very, very nice set. The, the sockets are nicely machined. It says RHX 14 millimeter. So this does have a retaining band in here. There you go, this little shiny retaining band. It clips into the sockets. It's similar to the Astro Pneumatic sockets. I'll give you guys a little quick little look on those it's similar to these guys these are uh, these are the astro pneumatic um, uh, low profile sockets right here 
they have that same shank um, and then we have to turn that light off because it's about to die but here bring the light in view see the little edge the little etching or not the etching but the little um, cutouts around the socket that's for a retaining ring exactly the same as these guys right here there's a little notch outs at the very top right there right there there's one right there so they're similar except these are a bit bigger in size and then if I bring the light in show you the ratchet a little closer 237 FKA is what it says on the back it does say USAG in the front and then if you see right there this little ring it's kind of silvery gold looking ring right here that is the retaining ring for the racket ratchet mechanism to retain the socket forward reverse reverse clockwise is to the left or tightening or on is to the left off or counterclockwise is to the right push button to flex it the retain and the push button if you don't get it directly in the center it stays pushed down until you move it it's got a nice positive detent this one right here it does look like the head on the Harbor Freight is definitely a little bit thicker it's I don't know one eighth of an inch thicker the detent on the flex head is about the same on the icon this one right here they're both nice and tight the flex head is just a little bit thinner on the USAG and I'll grab a caliper and we will just measure it real quick all right so change it to millimeters here's the USAG it's got a solid handle thickness of the pair head pair ratchet head is 7.59 millimeters oops let's try that again I didn't zero it out 7.9 uh, 7.89 millimeters my bad 89 to 90 the icon on thickness the body thickness is 8.42 millimeters so it's 7.8 now if I if I measure just the side where just the body is and now if I measure it on this black piece on the bottom and the top it is 12.28 millimeters completely if you're measuring also on the top so this black ridge and this black ridge here if you're measuring just the body itself it's 8.4 so it is quite a bit thinner this one's 7.74 7.74 that's what it keeps measuring as clear it to make sure 7.7475 yep so this one is a few millimeters thinner if you're measuring it where your finger would go because you can also turn this on the outside by hand that's why that's there you can literally turn it because it's got ridges kind of hard to see the ridges there you go you can probably hear it it's meant to grip your finger so you can spin it like this if you're in a tight location and you can't maybe you don't have room to actually physically move the ratchet you could do this that's what that's for 
Um, overall length, let's change it to inches. The icon, the head, with the both the black pieces inputted, it's 0 0.48 inches. And this guy right here is 0 0.30. So this one's a little bit over a quarter inch thick. This one is almost a half inch thick. That is a different, a definitely a difference. Um, and then we'll measure the length. Measure the length of the icon first. From top to bottom, it is 4.3350 inches. The USAG. Four point five four no, five three eight zero inches. So four point five three point eight zero inches. So they are not too far apart on length. Put them up against each other. Not too much of a difference at all. Just a little bit. And then if we compare this. Um, this power torque ratchet that I have several of. This one is similar to the Icon. So here's the Icon. Here's this one. They both have quarter inch hex at the end. Um, and this one's for bits as well. So you can actually take one of the bits out of the um, Icon kit. And you could put it on the power torque. Power torque is definitely not as thick. And let's uh, check real quick before I move on to the power torque. Ooh, almost knocked you guys over. Um, let's check in millimeters how thick the handle is at the end. Handle is 10 millimeters at the end for the USAG. It's 10.68. The start of the handle is 7.07. .07. The icon started uh, at the end of the handle is... 9.87 millimeters start of the handle is 6.93 so the icon is just a little bit smaller on the handle than the USAG and then the head thickness because this is really tiny on the power torque zero it out head thickness is 9.77 millimeters um, including the finger wheel why is this video so dark yeah because this is a finger wheel it's kind of just like the the icon it, you know it does have a serrated um, finger wheel or not serrated but notched so you can do that this one's really, really tiny. Um, so, this one is, like I said, it is 9.76 millimeters for the head. On that spot of the head, if you do not measure the black section, it is 5.97 millimeters. So, it's definitely thinner than the USAG, which is 7. It's 2 millimeters thinner on this head. Um, if you measure from the black finger, section the roller section it's nine compared to seven so this one's a little bit thinner if you're measuring based off of this if you're measuring just based off the head's body itself this one's a millimeter thinner than the usag um, handle thickness for this one is 9.93 millimeters at the back and the start of the handle is four. It's three point nine five millimeters. Hopefully, you guys can actually see all of this. And the length on this one is 
92 millimeters. So I changed that to inches. It is 3.65 inches for the power torque where the icon is 4.33 inches and the USAG is 4.54. So there are different sizes. You know, this Titan one is also a little different too. I can measure the Titan one as well. Here's the Titan one. Titan one measures at 4.8180. So 4.8090 inches. So this one's definitely the longest one, but it's not ratcheting or anything like that. This one's basically, you can do it like this or you could physically do it like this and turn it. That is the differences. They all come in, they all come in handy for different tasks. I've been using uh, the Power Torque one for five plus years. It has been a great, great tool. Um, this is the, the, the quarter inch socket adapter to quarter inch hex that came in the icon it actually has the exact same notching in the exact same spot as the um, power torque one the only difference is this is chan feared a little bit more more cone shaped at the end on the icon one icon one right here goes here this one goes in here and then you just clip it closed and these you can put on a keychain I don't ever I, I probably should take those off but I haven't thought about it but um, two very very nice kits I do like how low profile I don't think the these don't look like pass-through sockets to me they just look like extremely low profile sockets 14 millimeter all the way to a 5.5 is an amazing kit size, especially for dash pieces. 5.5 is a common size for Fords. Um, you know, it would be nice if they had a 5, a 5.5, and then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. But, you know, this is a beautiful kit. I paid $71 for this USAG kit. It was well worth the cost um, it would have been kind of nice if they would have provided an extension socket and i'll show you what i mean by that so i do have a couple other pass-through socket brands in here i don't even know where those rackets are a little stubby My little stubby power torque, I use this a lot too. You slide this cap on the handle off, and it's a 3 8 drive. You can put an extension on and make this stubby longer. Uh, but where is it at? So here are the pass through style sockets. The inside is round. No, I'm not even sure if this is the right size. Nope, it's too big. But, I don't remember where I put those ratchets. Should be in here somewhere. Oh, I did. There they are. Put them in the main ratchet drawer. So here is another style pass-through. So these, these are similar. I don't think the USAG is a pass-through style, though. Um, you could put a quarter-inch um, handle on here if you needed to get more torque um, you know, while you're using the ratchet. Maybe you need to hold something still. You need to hold the actual socket still. Um, so that way you can 
maybe you need to twist a bolt off that that is you know threaded onto a an allen key style bolt or um not bolt but uh yeah yeah a bolt um where it's got a allen key to hold it you know like on um end links you know sway bar end links stuff like that but that's what these are for this one's for the smaller one another example I have the power torque version from O'Reilly's here's this one pop that one out it's got the 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 push button socket 3 8 anvil that you can just pop into here now it's a 3 8 ratchet you can turn this into a quarter ratchet or a half inch ratchet whatever you choose this is a nice little set as well. This actually fits. This ratchet, this power torque ratchet, fits the 3-8 sockets. So here's a 3-8 socket. They're the exact same size. So you can actually use the Astro Pneumatic 3-8 pass-through sockets. You can use them on this too. So it makes this pretty low profile in a sense. <clears throat> I don't know where the smaller version of this one is. Should be somewhere over here. But I'll grab the bigger version of these sockets. These are for the smaller 3 8 handle. The one I, the handle I grabbed was the half inch handle. I didn't realize that. That's this one right here as an example. So this is the larger one. This is for this guy. These are the Husky ones from Home Depot. They're a little bit longer. The head is definitely thinner on this one. The socket and head of the ratchet's definitely way more prof uh, lower profile. So, and but these are pass through, so you can actually slide these on a bolt and ratchet a, a, a nut off. That's what these are meant for. So if I grab like a bigger socket. Here is a 17 millimeter. And you can attach these on either side. You can see it's, it's, it has the Husky emblem. So it's definitely way more low pro profile, quarter inch style drive. Um, I presume if it's small enough, you could probably p use this as a pass-through, but you might hit the quarter-inch packs. Um, that's just some information for you guys. I do hope it helps. I don't use the pass-throughs very often. Um, only when I've got no other choice and the pass-through has to be used when I u is when I use them. But, you know, just to show you guys, you can use the power torque pass-throughs from O'Reilly's with these 3 8 Astro Pneumatic sockets. The half-inch sockets is a different story. You have to buy the half-inch um, wrench. Because these are the half-inch sockets right here. These take a 17 millimeter outer bore, if I remember correctly. Do I have a 17 here? Yes. Here's a 17. No. It's not a 17, maybe a 20 something, 22. I think it's a 22. Yeah. So in order to use these with a regular wrench, you have to have a 22 millimeter for them to fit over this. So if you all you have is a 22 millimeter wrench, you can, they do have a ratchet wrench that is meant for the 3 8 on one side 
It's a double box end ratchet wrench um, that Astro Pneumatic makes. One side's 22, the other side is, um, which side is this one? I think it's a 16. Seventeen. So one side, so the three eighths has a seventeen millimeter. Here's a seventeen, fits, and then the larger half inch outside diameter on these sockets is a twenty two. That is all I got for you guys today, though. It's been a thirty minute video. I do hope this video was helpful. Um, to take these sockets out and show you guys up close on the case. There you go. So there's the case. You can see that it is labeled 11, 12, 13, 14, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5.5. So it's a nice little case. I do have to admit, and I do agree with um, Autobahn Dan, I believe that both of these ratchets are made by the exact same company. The spring, the push button, they both say uh, push release, both of them. They're identical. The flex heads are almost identical. This one is just thicker, kind of shorter. This one is wider and flatter because this one is a meant for these specific sockets. So the sockets basically pass through the body of the ratchet. Um, and real quick, I'll grab a socket and see what size this is. Maybe all you have available is a wrench. Maybe you, maybe you left this USAG ratchet somewhere um, and you just need to get something off real quick and you can just use a wrench. So, grab a, so an 11 millimeter wrench. So this hole right here on the ratchet is 11 millimeters. So if you have an 11 millimeter wrench, I have an 11 millimeter socket, um, impact socket, it's just easy to show you guys, it is 11 millimeter. So you could use an 11 millimeter on these if you need. Turns that little 5.5 so small. I mean, if all you have is a half inch, you know, 11 millimeter socket, you need to use these on a on a, a wrench or something. You could. These are all six point as well. That is nice to see. You know, maybe you're in a spot that the rent the the ratchet may be too small. So if I grab a 11 millimeter, here's an 11 millimeter gear wrench, ratcheting open end box end wrench. It fits just fine. Nice and tight tolerance. But maybe this ratchet is just too short. Maybe you just need that extra one or two, three inches. You could always use. Use it like that. Now the socket's not gonna stay because there's no retaining ring on, on these, but you could do that. You could use it that way as well. Or, as another example, maybe you have really long double box end wrenches. Here is a 
So as an example, I have a Capri double box end wrench here. It is actually pretty long. It's about eight, nine, maybe 10 inches long. This is not ratcheting, um, but this is a 7 16 um, But as an example, if you need to use something like that, you could. There's a little bit of movement. Not sure where my my other kit is. I was just thinking while we're doing the video, you know, to throw out this information for you guys before I forget. Just happened to pop into my head and I remembered, so might as well show you guys before I end the video. Oh, there it is. Found it. I don't remember if this Capri double box end has it. Yep, there's an 11 right here. So here is a 10 11. There's an 11 right there. Just, you know, if you needed to. 7 16 or, or an 11 millimeter will hold it. It's not going to hold the socket, but you will be able, if you if you have it, you know, this, the bolt is facing down, you can put this on the bolt and then you could turn and then keep lifting this up like that. And this is a pretty long, it's about, I don't know, 12 inches. So that's just some more ideas for you guys. Um, you can use them that way. But that is all I got for you guys today. I do hope the video is helpful. Here's a, a closer up view of the icon. I do have to admit, I do think that the icon may be made by the same company that makes the USAG. To be honest, they're both really nice kits. They've uh, this one, this icon kit has definitely come in handy. I've used it to take bulbs out of a halogen spotlight a few times. I do like the little rubber rubber plugs. Plugs are very nice. Looking at this up here, it looks like there, sh there should be a spot where it holds a, an extension, but I think that is just to make sure that the ratchet doesn't move when you close it. They're both very nice kits. Quarter inch, 11 millimeter. So they're saying that this is 11 millimeter um, or quarter inch. That's the other option it's saying, which I can show you guys that real quick before I close out the video. Move all these ratchets and everything that I moved in my socket drawer. Okay. So a quarter inch drive. It definitely does not look a quarter inch to me. I'm sure you could put sockets in here though. Or um, not sockets, but bits. That's too big. Maybe. Nope. So it doesn't look like you can do that. Not sure. Oh, quarter inch hex or uh, square. That's what it means. Quarter inch square or 11 millimeter outer. That's what it means. I mean, I should have known that since I've been talking about it for a little bit. But that's this kit right here. So I'll kind of slide that up there so you guys can see it a little better. So everything that I'd shown. Um, I do appreciate you guys stopping by. Let me know if this video was super informative and helpful. Um, as always, please like, comment, subscribe. Smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. 
And this caliper I was using is just the digital, the multi-mode caliper I got from Home Depot. From Husky, it does fractions, inches, and millimeters. It's been a pretty good caliper. Um, you know, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out the video. And I will see you guys on the next video. And one last thing, more than likely you guys are going to see this these a lot in videos when I do videos. I tend to use these a ton. These power torques I've used a ton. I've got, I think, five or six of these kits, to be honest. I think I have one in each vehicle. That's four right there. These two... And then there is another one in a, um, a go bag um, that I throw. I usually leave in a go bag when I'm doing um, mobile repairs. So these are all going to go into a mobile bag. I'll, get, I'll let you guys know how well they hold up. Um, the quality on this USAG is definitely worth the $71 that I paid. Um, and I actually got this for free technically because I had like... $90 worth of Amazon um, uh, dollars. I had um, sent quite frequently. I get, you know, $3 uh, Amazon gift cards from my Verizon, um, Verizon Up program, and I just kept saving those. And I actually bought this kit with them, as well as I bought this tap, this 12 by 1.25 tap, and I paid $15 for the die. So I basically got this tap and this kit for free. And the only thing I had to pay for was the die. The 12 by 1.25 millimeter die. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. And I will see you guys next time. Peace! Oh, and uh, keep a lookout for some more Makita tools. Because I have an 18 volt Makita impact driver the XDT-16 here, and I'm going to be doing video comparison between that and the XGT 40-volt model, so keep that in mind, and I will see you guys later. Peace!